Hi, hello and welcome to our channel, Scratch Coding for Kids. This is Veda from Toronto. I'm going to guide you to learn Scratch Coding. So today, we are going, this, this is the uh, tutorial 5. We are going to learn all the motion blocks. How to move the sprite using the motion blocks. So this is basically our first coding class. Okay. Let's go and see the topics which we are going to learn today. So if you go here, uh, yeah, first of all, you had to go to this uh, tutorial. If you are new to Scratch, if you don't know, don't know anything about the Scratch, please go through these four tutorials. Then only you will understand this tutorial. Because to understand this tutorial, you have to have basic knowledge of these four tutorials. So you have to know about basic introduction, what is stage area, what is sprite, what is block palette. After that only, you have to watch this uh, channel, this uh, tutorial. So um, all, all these things I will share in the description area. So you don't need to waste time on writing this one or taking a screenshot because I'm going to share it in the description area. Okay, let's go. We'll start with what is motion blocks and we can go ahead with all these 13 topics. Let's go here. So this is the scratch screen you know already I, I told you in the previous um, sessions how you can come to this screen from the home page of the scratch you can you log in and click on the create you will come to this screen now and already you learned this is a stage area and here is a backdrop and the sprite you have to select which one you are going to code it so if you want to code the sprite you have to click this one if you want to click the backdrop if you want to code the backdrop you have to click here Okay, so this motion um, blocks not applicable for the backdrop because you you know like it's a, it's a background so you can't move the background right so it's not applicable for the backdrops. These motion blocks are applicable only for the sprite. So if you select sprite only, it will become active. Okay, so once you press the sprite, so it became active. Now we will change the sprite, whatever sprite you like. So I will take some cartoon character. Let's go. Let's take what we will take. Uh, this speaker or something like that. Okay. Here, this is Pico. Uh, we will take Pico. Okay. So I select the Pico and I don't want this cat guy. So let me select and delete the cat guy. Okay. So we have Pico. And now I'm going to make this Pico to the center. Okay, before that backdrop, we had to have the backdrop. Um, I want to select it, the XY grid, because it's easy for you to understand the motion of the Gigo. Then I'm going to change this Gigo's position to the center. So I'll change this X and Y values. So I had to select the sprite. And I, I'm going to change the X and Y values to 0 and Y value also change to 0. Okay. So now the Pico is in the center of the stage. <clears throat> right. Now we will learn one by one each um, motion blocks. Right. First one. It's a very easy, straightforward one. Move 10 steps. So if you want to code it, you have to take the block to the coding area and leave it like this. Now, if you click on this block, he, this uh, character is sprite is going to move. See, 10 step by 10. Every time you click, it will move to move 10 step on the right side. So basically, you can move this sprite in four ways. No, in all the ways, but first I will teach you how to move to the right, how to move to the left, and how to move to the up, how to move the down. So if you want to move to right, you have to use this block and you have to give some positive number, like 10, 20, anything you can give it. Like, okay, if I give 50 now, it will move 50 steps now. So you can change that value. Okay, right. This is how you can move the sprite to the right. Now you want to move the sprite to the left. So what you have to do is same thing, but you have to give 
minus value. We have to give a minus, the minus mark. Now it's going to move to left. Now it's moving left. Okay. Now this moving right and left, you are, I, I hope you guys understand. If you have any question, you can put it in the comments. So basically the sprite, the motion blocks is applicable only for the sprite. And the sprite, you can move right or left. If you want to move right or left, you have to use the block move and you have to give how many steps you want to move. That is the very first block. It's pretty straightforward. And here you can give this value or you can use variables. We will learn about variables later because it's a little bit complicated. So I don't want to um, confuse you right now. So that I need around three videos to explain you about the variables. But here you, you should know only one thing. You can add a variable too. You don't need to give a static value. You can add some dynamic values as well here. So that is basically you have to go to the variable thing and you have to create your own variable and then you have to program it. You have to write some more coding and you will move according to that dynamic value. So that you have to know you can add some variable here. Now we will go to the second one. Second one is talking about how to turn this guy, the sprite, how to turn the sprite. If you want to turn the sprite to the right, take this block and then you can give how much degree you want to turn it. So for an example, you want to, you can change this value. I want to turn 45 degree. So I click 40, I give 45. Then if you click on this turn, he, he will change, he will turn 45. So every time you click, it's going to turn again and again. Okay. So that is to turn right. To turn left, you can do two things. One, you can take this block or here you can give minus value. Give minus here. And now if you click on turn, it's going to rotate by left side, left to right. So both are possible. Or else, if you don't want to do like this, you can take this block, which is even though you give a plus value, it's going to turn to left. See? It's turning to the left. Okay. So now you understand three blocks. Today we, we learn. We are going to learn more blocks. But as of now, we learn three blocks. One is moving the um, sprite to right or left. Other one is turning the sprite to the right or left. To the rotation. Okay. Now I don't want these blocks because we already learned. So to delete this one, you can either right click and delete the block or you can just click, drag it and put it here in the block palette. It will go away. Okay. So I'll just put it there. Oh, and one more thing. There are three things you can do with this in the right click. So when you right click, you can either duplicate this block. So you will get another block or you can add the comment. So this is like. When you become a big developer, usually you have to write the comments for why you why you use this, why you develop this, or why you use this block. So you can write a comment here like, I used this block to move 10 steps. Move the sprite 10 steps. The sprite 10 steps. So that's how you can give a comment. Then the third one is you can delete the block. Click on it, it will go away. So in the right click, you can do those three stuff. Right. Now I will put this block back. So I don't want that one. Now before going to this one, I had to make this guy to the original position. So I want to change the x value to 0 and y value to 0 and the direction to 90. Okay. Now he came back to the original position. This you can do with the reset block. There are so many other ways. I will teach you later. But right now, I will change these values and uh, get him back to the center point. Now, we will go to the next block. Next block is go to. 
So I'll take it to the coding area. So this block called go to block, you can go to two, two places. One is you can select a random position. So scratch will move somewhere like randomly it will move. There is no value, randomly it will move. Other one, you can move towards the mouse pointer. Where your mouse, you know the mouse pointer is this arrow, right? The white color arrow we are using, that is the mouse pointer. It will move where the mouse pointer is. So let's check first the go to random position. So if I click here, it will go to some random positions. Every time you click, it's just go to some random position. Okay, now to the mouse pointer. I click on the mouse pointer, but I have to give the event. Don't worry about this event. I will teach everything very clearly. So as of now, just So it, it went there because my, my mouse pointer is there. Okay. okay. So <clears throat> I can put a loop and I can continuously rotate with the mouse pointer too. So right now you have to know where my mouse pointer, there it will go. So these are the go to blocks. So two, two options in the go to blocks. One is the random position. Other one is the mouse pointer where your mouse pointer it will go to that place okay right that is the fourth block now the fifth block it's most interesting so here when we are moving we move only left or right right also before learning this we can learn the up and down so here you can use the change y axis and you can go up and down so to change go up and down you have to select this block called change y position to go up and down for right and left x position so to change y position let let me give you give um yeah by 10 oh you want to show more moves i'll give 25 okay and now if i click it will move up by 25 okay now i want to come down so what I have to do, I have to give a minus. Always to the opposite, we have to do minus. So if I give a minus mark there, then it will come down. See? It's coming down. So that's how you can move up and down. So now you know how to move right and left and you know how to move up and down. Now we are going to see how you can go to different places. Like not, you don't want to travel in up and down or right and left you want to go somewhere in this uh, in this point or this point or this point how we can move that for that you have to use the uh, block called go to x y you have to give both position x and y so this way i told you uh, the kids has to be somewhere eight seven eight years because they have to know the x axis y axis and x y coordination so if they don't know that one only, they will understand this one. Otherwise, I will explain, try to understand if you are more younger kids. So now, I'll make this sprite to the center position. So now, um, sprite is in the center position. Now I want to move him here. So this point is, in the x-axis, it is 100. See? In x-axis, it has to move 100. From y-axis, also it has to move 100. Then only it can reach this point. So, to reach this point, I have to give the x-coordinates 100 and y-100. So, that's what I am going to do. I will give here for x-100. And then y hundred. Now if I click here, it will move in x y hundred. Again, if I click, it will go to two hundred because hundred plus hundred two hundred, right? No, no, it, it, it doesn't move. Sorry, sorry, because it's I give hundred, then it will it doesn't move again because it is in hundred. If I give two hundred only, it will move again to two hundred. Sorry, my bad. So this move to the position where 100 and 100 in the axis. Now, yeah, 
So if you want to move somewhere down here in this position, you have to give minus. So somewhere here I will take it. So I will give minus, minus 120. Here minus, minus 95. So let's see now how it does work. It's going to come to the point where x-axis is 120, so somewhere here, and y-axis is 95, so somewhere here. So the point will be at this point. Okay, so let me click. See, it has come there. So one is 120 and 95. Okay, so that's how you can move everywhere the sprite. So this is to go with the xy coordination. So we are done with that part. Now we will go glint. Okay. Glint is, so we already learned move. There is a small difference between glint and move. Glint is the smooth move. You will see how in the which path it is moving. But move is something like a jumping, like it's from one point to right away it will go to the other point. But glint, it goes nicely. So I will say glint to the random position. Okay, and you can go to give to the mouse pointer too. Okay, so if I give random position, if I click again and again, see it's going. You see the smoothly it goes right, but if you give the move, it doesn't go like that. See the difference between the move and the glitch. Sorry. Move is just move from that point to that point. But glint means it's like it's smoothly moving. You can see it. Okay. So that is glint. And uh, okay, the glint you can give x axis. This is the random position we are giving it. But if you want, you can give the x and y coordination too for the glint. Like go to, this is a glint. Go to is just jumping like move. But glint is it will smoothly move. So uh, for one second, I am giving. X axis, I'll give uh, plus 90, and Y axis, I'll give plus um, 150. Okay, and it, it will glint for one second. So you can give, you can in, increase this or decrease this. Okay, so if I say Two seconds, it's going to glitch for two seconds. So it will go more further, okay? I'll click here. See, it's going more because I gave two. But better to see because if you go, if it goes to the edge, it will stop, right? Now I will click it. See, it, it, it actually going more till two seconds. But when it's come to the edge, it will stop because our area is very small, okay? So I can... Put it more further down and then I click on it. Okay, so it stops at the edge. So I can put it here. Okay, anyway, it's going to do like that. So uh, that's how we deal with the glit. So glit, you can give how, how long you want to glit it. So you can give one second, two second, whatever you want. And also XY coordination or you can say random position. So it will glit. So that is all about the glit block. Now, I don't want these blocks, so I will put it away. Now we'll see point in direction, right? So this is point in direction. So this point in direction is almost like a, uh, sorry, almost like a turn. But there's a small difference, okay? Turn, if you click every time, so, for an example, I click the sprite, and if I click every time, it, it's going to turn every time. But point to direction is not like that. Like, what will happen? I'll make this to 90 again. Okay. Now, if I say point to direction 90, okay, this is because I had to give, it's already in 90, so I'll give the point to direct to 180. So, it changed to 180. So this is basically um, 
these this code we usually use to flip something or like point something to a particular thing like if you click again it's not going to change it's just one time change something like flipping but this turn it will change every time you click it will go okay so that's the difference between point in direction and turn and other one is point towards so you can say point towards to the mouse pointer yeah, that is only mouse pointer. So point towards mouse pointer. So let me put him here. Change him to 90 so it's easy for you guys to understand. I don't want to make it more complicated. Okay. Now if I click this one, it points towards the mouse pointer. Okay. Now, um, okay. Now we know what is point. Uh, point to the direction and point towards. Now we will go back to we see that go to x, y, glide point direction point towards okay, change x by, uh, sorry, change x, by, x we already, already saw that one so to move right and left uh, we have to see set x so let me Zero and make it. Now it's in the original point. Uh, I'm going to set x to some value. So I'm going to give like set x to 50. So this is something similar to move, but let's see what happened. Okay, see it, it moved 10 steps, sorry, 50 steps, but that's it, it's set. It is, if you click again, it doesn't move. But move button, every time you click, it's going to move again and again, right? So it's just setting, setting the sprite to 50 steps. The same thing you can do for the Y. So this, this is setting to the X axis, right? In the X axis. So if you want to move it in the Y axis, you can set to Y. Y is 0. I will say 80. If I click, it will go and set over there in the X. So now it's in um, set to X40 and Y80. Okay. So that's all about set X and Y. Now, ah, this is a nice one. If if on edge bounce, like for an example, I'm moving, okay. Take the move. And I say move 20 steps. And then I'll give this, if on the edge, come back. So what will happen is, okay, if I don't put this, if you move every time, it moves to the right. Then after the edge, it doesn't know what to do. It's going towards edge more and more. It tries maximum and stops. But if you put, if you, Include the bounce uh, when if if, it, if you're on the edge. Let's see what will happen. Then it's coming back, bounce back. Okay, <clears throat> so th this is rotating um, all all around all around, but you can say right, left too. So there is another one called set rotation style to left right. So for an example, the same thing. Let's take away these things. Now I will make this guy go to the center and I will rotate it to. Okay. Now I am going to move this guy and I won't I don't want to all around when it's in the bounds. I want it to turn left. All right, so um, let me take this one. Set set rotation style to left to right. Now, if I click, let's see what happened. See, it's turning right. Earlier, it was upside down, right? 
But after I give this one, it's turning like this. Then when it's reached this edge, it will again turn and go like that. Now I will see the previous one all around. And now if I click on it, it will when it's reached the edge, it's going to be all around. See, like earlier, by default, it happened like this. It will go like this. Okay. So that is set rotation style. So we, we learned two uh, blocks together to show you. One is set rotation style. Another one is if an edge bounces. So when it reaches the edge areas, maybe here also in the up, down, left, right, anything, it will bounce back to other edge. So that is the way that is the two blocks, one is set rotation style and other one is if on the edge, bounce. Other than that, there are three things. So if you want to show something in the stage, I, I am keeping him here, but you want to see what is the exact X position and the Y position. Always you want to stay in the, see in the stage. So I can click here and I can click this one for the Y coordination. Um, then I click the direction. So it will show. Now it's minus, so it's showing this where it is and the direction. Now let me go here. See, it changes. And let me rotate this one. See, that changes. It will give the exact value of the x, y, and dire uh, direction. The, that means which. Uh, angle it is it. So if you don't want these things on your stage, you can again click it so it will be deselected. So these are the, so this all about the motion block. So to more understand motion block, especially uh, moving the point to and all those things, we had to learn a little bit more like events and variable you have to know because I told you in each of these places you can give a variable. So that when we are learning variable, I will teach you how to give variable here. Like each block you can give. So here, if you want, you can give a variable here. If you want, I just show a small example. Like I go to the variable and I create a variable called, okay, I already have a variable called move. If you want to create another one, you can click here and give a name, uh, rotate and click OK. So you create another variable rotate. Now I am going to initiate the value for the rotate to um, 90. So it will be straight. So then I can increase by 1 or 15 or something like that. 24 or something like that. So now I have a variable called rotate. I'm going to add that variable here. So let me take these things out. I want the move. So in the motion, move, sorry, turn. And I'm going to add my variable rotate, not the, not the static 50. Now it's going to be a variable. You can program this one, how you want to rotate it. So, for an example, I will fix set the value to 90 and I will change the moves by 25 and I am going to give a loop. Forever. And I'm going to have an event on the click of the green flag. And what was I to do? Yeah, it's true. Now if I click on this, it's not, I didn't set, sorry, I didn't, oh, I set, I set it to 90, right? Oh, it's move. Rotate. Sorry, it's, 
it's continuously rotating okay then i had to stop it so the mistake i did was i i selected the uh, move so when you rotate you can't say move right you have to say rotate then only it will understand so i can stop it here so every time you click on this green flag it will rotate then you can stop it so this is a little bit advanced don't worry don't worry if you don't understand this one i i had to explain you one by one these events and one by one about the variable so you have enough time so today you have to understand only thing is what are the motion blocks so you should so at this point you should be able to use all these motion blocks and you should understand only one thing you can give motion a value or you can give a variable if you understand if you can give a variable that's enough don't worry about how to create a variable and how to do these things that we will learn later okay now we will check our topics did we covered everything okay so go to our agenda and check what is motion blocks we saw motion blocks applicable only for the sprite yes we can apply for the backdrop how to move the sprite right how to move the sprite left up down and how to move the sprite using the xy coordination how to turn the sprite what is glit what is point in direction what is point towards how to bounce back the sprite when it reaches the edge how how to show x position and y position in the stage also one more thing we learned how to set the rotation style how to set rotation Style. So the homework homework for today is. Yeah, I already wrote the homework. So let's see what is the homework for today. Okay. Log into Scratch. Add any sprite you want to from the sprite library. Make the sprite move fifty steps. It's very basic. Okay. I didn't ask more complicated ones. Just move the sprite fifty steps. That's it. So you guys know how to move the sprite fifty step, right? So here. What you have to do? You have to go to the move um, block, and here you have to give fifty. That's it. You have to do, and it will every time you click, it will move fifty steps. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoy my video, and if you like, please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. Till I see you in another video. Say bye bye.